Hello, hello. Sofia. Hi. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm doing okay, thank you. How was your day today? Today it's fine, busy. I'm tired, but all, all fine. Okay, but you don't work tomorrow, do you? No. Is, is, it, is, it, is it raining where you are right now? No, no. Okay. Because I receive maybe, a message. Maybe later. Because it's it, I receive a message that your internet um, signal is low. Yes. Because here it's, in Lourdes, it's, it's raining. Uh, no, uh, to many many people use the internet. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, and it's slow. And you're connected to Wi-Fi? Yes. All right, good. Okay, welcome back, everybody. It's good to see you again. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay, very good. What is today's date? <laughs> Do you remember today's date? Today is Friday. Friday. Today is Friday. Friday. What? Friday, September 4th. Yes. Friday, September 4th. What's the year? 2020. 2020. Okay, let's check who's here on time. Sophia Stephanie. Sophia, Sophia. Sophia is having connection problems. Present. Okay, thank you. Fernando Arturo. Coralia de Jesus. Ronald Humberto. Present. Very good. Marcela. Jimmy Rodriguez. Christian Alexander. Present. Very good. Josué Edgardo. Jimena Alexandra. Samuel Rosales. Uh, Rocio. Mercy. Araceli. Mm -hmm. Maria del Carmen. Present teacher. Very good. Helen Lopez. Teacher. Okay. Luis Escobar. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Stephanie Montano. Here, teacher. Very good. Uh, Christian Omar. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. How are you? Wendy Guadalupe. And Magdalena. Let's see. Ha, ha, ha. Christian Omar, you are here. Yes, teacher. Present. Very good. Let me see. Let me mark you absent. I mean, present. Christian Omar. Uh, Araceli, you are here too. Okay. Who else is here that. Uh, <laughs> Jimena Alexandra, okay. you are here. 
Yes, I'm here. Yes. Okay, very good. And the others, I guess, will incorporate later. All right, welcome back. Um, like you guys were saying, today is September 4, 2020. And let's begin. So I'm hearing Lourdes and it's raining. Is it raining where you guys are right now? Yes, it's raining. Some yes, day. teacher. Okay. Santa All right. It's raining. All right. Good. All right. So let's begin. Thank you for making the space. Thank you for making the time to, uh, to be here in class. So let's begin. Um, do you remember what we did yesterday? Which topics did we cover? We cover uh, when we use wheel. Okay. And when do we use wheel, Ronald? Well, we use wheel, for example, when you when you want to talk about uh, in future in, in future intention, for example, a promise, decisions, and I don't remember the other. Which which decisions? Uh, things that you plan. Oh, spontaneous decisions. Okay, spontaneous decisions. Yes. So yeah. okay, very good. For plan for plans, we used going to. Okay, for plans, or present progressive. Okay, we use going to or present progressive. Yes. Now, if you want to use the present progressive, how do you say me voy a quedar en casa? Using the present progressive. Me voy a quedar en casa. I'm staying at home. Very good. I'm staying at home. So how do you say lo voy a ahorrar? They give you a check and they say, what are you going to do with it? Ah, lo voy a ahorrar. How do you say that? I am saving. I'm saving it. I'm saving it. Yes, because you're making reference to a check that you receive. So they say, Ronald, what plans do you have with this check? Oh, I'm saving it. Lo voy a ahorrar. So, okay. Um, what else did we do yesterday, class? Uh huh. Luis, Sophia, Christian, Helen, um, Marie. We, we spoke the um, uh, different question the, the topic the exercise. exercise. Good, very good. There was a questionnaire um, where you guys discussed the topic of exercising. So some of you guys mentioned that walking is the best. Other people say, no, nah, swimming is the best. Some of you guys mentioned weightlifting um, and other things. So any exercise is good at the end. So, all right. Um, anything else about yesterday? Any questions or comments? So let me, in the chat, will going to present continuous um, among others. Those are the options that people have when speaking in future. So what plans do you have for next week at this time? Oh, I will sleep. Uh, I will sleep very early. Or you said, I'm going to watch television. Or um, I'm resting more. Voy a descansar más. So those are some of the options that you have when you're used when you're talking about plans in the future. You can also say future perfect. Do you remember future perfect? No, habré descansado, habré pedido permiso, habré visitado a mi familia. So when you talk about future perfect, 
you use to have uh-huh i use, will have uh -huh. to visit my parents i will have plus the verb in past participle so how do you say habré visitado a mi familia This is the structure that we use to talk about uh, talking the future perfect. How do you say, habré visitado a mi familia in English? According to the structure that I'm showing you here. I will have to visit my family. I will have visited my visited. family. Um, I will have visited. Oh, very past positive. Exactly. Okay. The verb always has to be past participle. So if you're using regulars, you know that regulars, they always finish with ED. If you're using irregulars, then it's a different story. How do you say, habré planchado toda mi ropa? I will iron my, iron it. Oh. <laughs> One more time. One more time. I will, plan have, uh -huh. I will have iron my clothes. My clothes. Good, mm -hmm. good. I will have iron my clothes. How do you say, me habré cambiado de cuarto? Me habré cambiado de cuarto. Following the structure that I'm showing you here. I will. Yes, Samuel? I will have swapped my room. Okay, I will have. Swap my room. I will have changed. I will have moved. You say swap. When you take someone else's position and this person takes your position, you, you see the difference, Samuel? Uh, my internet is slow, so I have uh, problems okay. to hear what okay, you say, so, teacher. So you need to say change or move. I will have changed my room. I will have swapped my room. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, so these are uh, suggestions of how people talk in the future. So I will assign you to work in pairs and talk about the plans that you have for next week at this time when you guys will be free. So let me assign the groups. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. All right, we got this here. All right, here we go. Talk about the plans you have for next week at this time of the day. Let's go. Thank you. Mira. Crema. No, no sé. Uh, yes, no. but we, yes. uh -huh. we're talking about the plans for the for the, this weekend. For next week. For next week. <laughs> At this time in particular. <laughs> <laughs> and feel free to say whatever comes to your mind. Are you
friends best I don't know maybe could be teacher yes sir and, and if if we want to make a question in future perfect uh -huh. is a have you will no. gone to the beach the, Will you have gone to the beach? The auxiliary goes at, the, at first. Now, if okay. you want to be more specific or, or more general, you will say, uh, what will you have done? ¿Qué habrás hecho? What will you have done? What will, first what will uh, is, is the auxiliary. Uh, yes. So, what will okay. you have done done if you want to be very specific you will say will you have gone to the beach will you have gone to the beach oh, okay yeah so you say what will you have done in the ne in the negative form uh, you need to only put not, I will not have. Exactly, I will not have. Now remember what I was telling you before that uh, always try to use contractions. Uh, and you say, I won't have gone anywhere. No habré ido a ningún lado. I won't okay. have gone okay. anywhere. I won't have gone. <laughs> I won't have gone anywhere. Yes. Okay. All right. 40, 40 uh, hours continuous study. Okay. Does I going to study a tax diploma? No. What time, uh, Luis? In tomorrow, teacher. The oh. 1 p.m. En adelante. <laughs> okay, good. Good. So after 1 p.m.? Yes, teacher. All right, good. How many hours is the course? Five hours, hours in the, in, in the afternoon. Every Saturday? Every Saturday. Okay. For um, uh, continuous study for my profession. Good, very good, nice. Uh, how you say, nice. lo requiere el consejo de contaduría? <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the accounting committee requires it okay oh, yeah. the accounting committee requires it the, the accounting committee committee requires it requires it yes requires it okay okay good Hello, hello. Hello. So, what are your plans for next week? Do you guys have plans for next week? Yes. What are your plans, Sophia? I... I will have uh, start my my master. Okay, good. Yes, online. I can continue with the English. Yes, online. Good. Completely online. <laughs> For now. Yes. Yes. No, maybe all the master. Okay. Good. Yes. And you, Helen? Do you have plans for next week? Helen, Helen, can you hear me, Helen? Were, were you two speaking? 
Sofía. Me, uh, Helen with me, yes, but uh, he, but she, but she have a unstable connection. Oh. Yes. Is it raining in San Miguel, Helen? Yeah, I can I can see her, but I I don't think she can hear me. <laughs> she she talks. <laughs> what did you say, Helen? Oh, I I hear the rain. Hello. Okay, and yeah, I see, I see the chat. Hello. Yes, you're here. I'm here. <laughs> okay. I don't great. know what happened. All right, don't, don't worry. And we can have uh, three, three day. Uh, how do you say? Finale Next week. September. Thank you. Uh, what is the question, <laughs> uh, Stephanie? How do, how do you say? How do you say finales de septiembre? At the end of September. At the end of At the end. September. Yeah. I said, uh, I having a three, a, a three, three day. ¿Cómo me dijo? Finales de septiembre. Se At the fue. end of September. At the end of September. It is correct. I, I'm having. Yes. Day. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. You're having three days. I think. Que puedo okay. Hacer. okay. Yes. How many days do you plan to take off, Stephanie? Uh, 20, 25, 7, and uh, 25, 27, and 28. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three days. Three Good. Days. I, I need rest. Yeah. And is your husband free in those three days too? No. No, he's working. Yes. Okay. You will rest for, <laughs> for everything. <laughs> How do you say? No serían vacaciones para mí. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't be vacation. Okay. They, will, they wouldn't be vacation. They wouldn't vacation. Okay. Yeah, they wouldn't be vacation. Yes, I need a you... menos un día. <laughs> I, I enjoy uh, I, I enjoy stay alone. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I enjoy you, it you uh, miss sometimes you. too. I enjoy it. Yes, yes. You okay. miss be be single. <laughs> what? You miss be single. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, five, I, I, I I like five years alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you have been married five years. Yes. All right. Yes. Oh. <laughs> but, have regret. But, but you but you don't have children, do you? No. Okay. No quiero. <laughs> yes. I rem I remember that she told me that if she don't have a a child in at least two years, she will not have for nothing. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. All right. I don't so, want. Yeah, that's good. It, there is there is a time for everything, you know, time to relax, time to have babies, time to get married, even time to separate, you know, so. It's very okay. difficult, teacher. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, uh, to be a woman, because the women will be professional, uh, home lover, friend, uh, daughter. Yo no puedo con todo. Yeah. So you think it's too much for you? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It, it's very difficult. So yeah. Okay. okay. Yes, I, I know. Mm -hmm. Because uh, women, they work more than men. They have more responsibilities. They always have something to do there is always something to do okay i think it's time to go back to the main session okay
All right, all right, all right. Any questions about how to use um, express actions in the future? Either going to, will, present perfect, present perfect, continuous, sí. simple present. Sí, present. Yo quiero decir, uh -huh. el ejemplo era, este, yo, yo voy a haber hecho tal cosa, ¿verdad? Yes, sir. Entonces, si yo en inglés digo, I, I, I want to say that all this weekend I will rest. Uh, I can say I will uh, have rested all the, yes, all the weekend. Exactly. Yes. Now, the, it's not okay. that it was mandatory for you guys to use uh, present perfect, but it was just a suggestion, you know, like you have present perfect, present perfect continues, will go into present continues. So there are different options. And uh, at this level, you should be uh, very familiar with all the options that we have when we're talking in future tense. Any questions or comments? No. No? All right. So let me write this here. Okay, what, what aspects do you take into account when buying an used car? Oh my goodness. What happened? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just... <laughs> Please. Okay. <laughs> Do you see the question that I wrote in the chat? What aspect do you take into account when buying a second hand car? Okay. So the ones that have a car, you know that there are aspects that you need to consider before making an investment. The ones that have never bought a car, just use your imagination and say, okay, so if I had $5,000 to spend in a car, what aspects would I take into consideration? That's going to be uh, your listening and speaking activity. But before we start, let me, let me move this person to room seven, move him to room seven, exchange with her. Move to room three. And he goes to room two. And then he goes to room one. So, da, 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 da. okay, so we are okay here. Room seven and room two. All right, so here we go, people. So the first part is just speaking, then I'll play a listening, and you guys take notes about what you understand. Room six, room six. Six, six, and six.
de kilometers. I don't know. You mean the mileage? The miles. Uh -huh. Mileage. 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 Yes. How do you spell mileage? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> let me let me write it in the chat. Chat. Mileage. My. Yes. Hello, hello. I can hear you. Sorry, I only use, sorry, uh, I'm alone. Oh, okay. You're alone, let me see it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me send you people right now. Okay, thank you. Okay. Hello, Coralia. Hello, teacher. Excuse me for too late. Don't worry. Hello, Mary C. Hello, teacher. Okay, so I will leave you with Stephanie. She has instructions for you. Okay. okay. All right. Now we have to answer the question. I answer. Think, teacher, what we have to you? answer the question, right? The, the, what yes. aspect that would you yes. take? Oh, ah, okay. yeah. I, I hear, I hear the, the listening and speaking activity. Right. But before the listening, you have to activate your knowledge about this particular topic. The listening comes after. Oh, um, okay. Oh, okay. yes. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. And what aspect do you take into account when buying a second hand car? Uh huh. Carro segunda mano. Yep. I consider. Yeah. Okay. The replacement for parts. The parts. Las partes. The parts. Yes. Mm -hmm. That you need replaced. Yes. Maybe maybe we consider or I consider how many kilometers mm -hmm. has the, the car. Okay. Did you see the chat? The last word that I wrote? Mileage? Mileage. Yes. Now, uh, uh, the, the real translation is millaje, but it's making mileage. reference to the same thing. In El Salvador, they say kilometraje. In English, they say mileage. 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 And they it take makes. The, the, what is it? That, that's why. That, that it's because they always take everything in miles, right? Yeah. Yeah, so if they say, uh, what's the distance from San Francisco to Los Angeles? The answer usually comes in miles. 200 miles. Exactly. 280 miles. Exactly. Okay. Yes. In a... Taller? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se dice taller? Auto shop. Um, uh -huh. What? Auto How? Shop. Auto shop. Auto shop. Auto shop. Ah, okay. Auto shop. And, okay. and how do how can I say uh, fugas? De, si yo quiero referirme a las fugas del motor. Leaks. Like WikiLeaks. Ah, leaks. Ah, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah, leaks. Yes. So you and, said um, the oil has leaks. Se está mm -hmm. fugando el, el aceite, for example. Well, okay. Uh -huh. En las compresiones, ¿cómo puedo decir? Compression. Compression. Yes. Okay. Leaks. Ajá. Okay. Leaks. Leaks. En auto shop. Okay. okay. Entonces, um, eh, you should, you could, eh, ¿cómo se puede decir llevar el carro? You can take sí, the sí. car. Uh, you can take the car to the auto shop and they will revise 
the compressions and leaks and the chassis. Yeah. Chassis is correct. Yeah. Okay, the chassis state and, and some things like that. Good. And you, mm -hmm, and, and there will give you a, a very good evaluation of yeah. the car. Good. Mm -hmm. Yes, they give you a diagnostic about the car. Mm -hmm. Very good. The computer, etc. Exactly. Exactly. Good. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello teacher. How are you? Uh, a little bad, teacher. Why? <laughs> uh, my head hurts, hurts a little. Really? Yes, teacher. And now, in the afternoon, I started, but I seen the new places. Maybe, maybe. My wife, yes. she had the same situation. She began having headaches, 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 and... Uh, she told me that when she was little, she needed glasses. Yes. And, and when we bought the, the glasses for her, the problem was, was solved. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Do fast on the computer all day, all weekend. Right, <laughs> right. And then, you know, you, you spend a lot of time on the computer, then you watch television. That's, that's a lot of the work for your eyes. The cell phone too. Cell yes. phone too. Right. Okay. So let me. Okay. So what aspects do you take into account when you're buying a second-hand car? Teacher. Yes. <laughs> what is activity? Oh my goodness. <laughs> 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 okay, do you see do you, do you have access to the chat? Yes. Okay, I wrote a question. What aspects do you take into account when buying a second hand car? You see the question? No. No teacher, no understand. Okay, in the chat I wrote, what aspects do you take into but account? When buying but a second-hand you, car, you write uh, in the chat, but in the in the platform. Uh huh. Right. Do but you have in this, in this chat? Some. It doesn't appear. No. Okay. It appears that. Uh, hold on. Can you see it now? Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh huh. All right. So those are the aspects you're supposed to be discussing: the size, okay. the okay. price, the year, and so on. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Very good. Hablamos que utilizábamos el going to for speak to a plan when you make a plan or you have a plan very structured. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for that, we are used to, to going. And we have it more spontaneous. I remember. That information is correct.
um, a second hand car? Mm. What aspect take into account? Okay. What aspects do you consider before you're buying a, a second hand car? Uh, we put uh, uh -huh. the, the mileage. Mileage, yes. Mileage, mileage. Uh -huh. Yes. The price. Mm -hmm. uh, if, I don't know if it's correct to say the interior condition. Yes. El, el, yeah. Mm -hmm. And if the car is automatically or mechanical. Good. Good. And we discuss why the people all, always ask if the car is from an agency or the car came from the USA. Right. And only that. Good, good. <laughs> do, you, do you consider the year? Ah, uh, yeah, that is mm, the, the year, uh-huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about the size of the car? Two door, four door, big engine? I think it depends what the, the people that buy the car search. I prefer four doors. Okay. Do you, but uh huh? I think the price is. It's a good way to decide if I take the car, if it has two doors or another. Okay. All right. Magdalena, what aspects do you consider are important? Mm. My important is the... Uh, mm, Mm -hmm. The condition of the car? Eh, sí. No. Eh. Ay, palabra. What's the word? Mm. It's important eh, the year. The, the year? The made. Where it was made? It was made in... In, 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 in interior cool the interior of the car uh -huh. the interior of cool is uh i teach you okay that's 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 fine that's fine where what are you talking about airplanes uh, yes. For for a travel with, uh, uh, when you buy a, a ticket uh -huh. in air, air, in Copa. Okay. Copa Airlines. Copa, Copa Airlines is Panamanian, has, huh? Exactly. Copa oh. Airlines has the terminal in in Panama, Panama City. Okay. And when do you want to travel to? to Colombia and you you will uh, to travel with with Copa Airlines say, only only um Scala I, I think it's connection right yeah connection yeah connection you can say I think connection it's connection and that is mandatory, Christian, to to make connections uh, when you travel with Copa. With Copa, only only has connection with Panama. Okay. Only no no travel in directly. Okay. Only. Um, so there there is always a connection uh, mandatory. Exactly. All right, good, good. Young people, for the
pero bien raro porque me... Ok. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Hello. Did you finish? Yes. Okay. Josue is teaching us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he sounded like an expert when he was uh, telling us the, the his opinions about what to consider. Exactly, he is. <laughs> Do you know about mechanics, uh, uh, Josue? A little, a little bit. Okay. Mm hmm and, and in the new models, you can do a little because the, the most things are electronic. Right. Yes. Right. And yes. the old models, uh, yes, you, you may do something. Yeah, er everything was more practical with the old cars. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have a I have a car that the year is 1963. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> uh, but it's but it's it's my project to restore uh, restore it. So the uh -huh. car runs but it needs paint and uh -huh. I need to incorporate it back to the system. Wow, a, I would love like, to see that. Yeah, you, it's a night. It's a night. Uh, comet, F comet Mercury. Let, oh. let, 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 let me see if I can show you a picture. Hold on. Okay, okay. Mm. <laughs> That's an excellent teacher. Yes, yeah, so um, let me see. Where is this? Where, where, where? Give me a second. Let me see if I find a car. Okay, nineteen sixty three Mercury Mercury Comet. It's like this. Let me see it. It's very similar to this one. It's color red. I can see the image. We can see it. Oh, okay. Are, oh, I'm sorry. We are seeing the pre listening exercise. Can you see it now? <gasps> oh, 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 my God. <laughs> yeah. But the car that I have, it has four doors, not two. Because Perfect. The, the cars uh -huh. that, are, that have two doors um, in this particular car is more expensive. No. So, uh -huh. so that's that's the style. That's great. amazing, teacher. So that's 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 my project for for the future. It looks very similar to this one. What is uh, what is the okay. motor motor state? Make a comment. It's 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 good because I can I can run it. I can drive it. Ah. Uh, yeah. So. Great. All right. So that's that's uh that's the project that I have in my mind right now. Excellent teacher. Right. All great. right. Let's go back Amazing. to the main session. Okay. okay. All right, all right. Can you go to the chat and write one element that people should consider before buying a second-hand car? The price, the year, the condition, big engine, small engine, the mileage, very good. 
Who else? If it's economic, yes. The size of the engine. What else? Only Samuel and Maria. Jimena, the year, yes. The engine. What else? If, if it is manual or standard. Good. If it's uh, standard or manual or automatic. What is more expensive, automatic or standard? Automatic. What is more, 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 automatics are more expensive. Yes. Okay. The compression, the leaks, uh huh. Leaks. Leaks. Uh huh. What's the meaning of leaks? What's leaks? Like WikiLeaks. What's the meaning? Parts. Leaks the oil. Okay, so leaks are fugas. Leaks yeah. are fugas. Yes. The serial number, the style, in order to impress girls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the parts. The parts are very important because some cars they have um the parts are very expensive they're very expensive okay uh anything else about cars the no? brakes yeah the brakes how do you say mantenimiento in english maintain maintain uh maintenance uh, maintenance. 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 So this letter there is quiet, so you don't pronounce it. So you say maintenance. Maintenance. Yes. Um, anything else? Okay, so now we go with the listening. Pay attention and take notes about relevant information. I have some questions for you. So, let me do this here. Are you ready for the listening? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right, let's do this. You should have told, yes, Captain, we are ready. All right, good. <laughs> My goodness, what happened to the audio? <laughs> now it doesn't play. Okay, let me get it ready when 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 we All right. Let me take attendance for the second time. I'm gonna mention only the ones that were absent. Um, Fernando Arturo? Present teacher. Okay. Um, Coralia? Present. Very good. Uh, Marcela? Marcela, I haven't seen Marcela. Um, Jimmy Rodriguez? Present. Okay, very good. Josué Edgardo. Present. Very good. Samuel. Present. Okay. Rocío. No Rocío. Okay. Maten. Okay. Uh, Mercy. Present. Okay. And let's see, Wendy. And the last one, Magdalena. Magdalena. Okay. So let, let me see if I can rescue the. What is the teacher? Ay, ay, ay. 
Ay, ay, ay. Quítenme esto, por favor. Sí, estoy en clase. Uy, tengo el micrófono. Give me a second, give me a second. So, sorry, guys. Uh, I'm really sorry. Don't worry, Don't Samuel. kill yourself. <laughs> I'm feeling Everything really will ashamed. be okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, here we go, people. Let me see this here. Ajá. Uh -huh. Nah, I can't, I went back to the same one. Share. My goodness. I'm supposed to be here, but it's not responding. Dígale usted, teacher, quítenme esto, por favor. Sí, sí, fue con intención. Give me a second. My goodness. All right. <laughs> I already had it. Si me están oyendo, me gusta que me oigan, me siento popular. Todos están prestando atención a lo que digo. Okay, I right here. Okay. All right, here we go, people. Here we go. Oh, hi there. A beauty, isn't she? Well, do you want to take her for a test ride? Well, um, how is the sound? It's great, teacher. Oh, okay, good. How old is it? Well, it's only three years old. And what's the mileage? Uh, let me check. Oh, yes, yeah, 75,000 miles. 75,000 miles? That's quite a bit for a car that's only three years old. Well, once you're in the driver's seat, you'll fall in love with her. Get in. Uh, uh, I can't seem to get the door open. That's it, okay. It could be broken. Ah, just give her a little tap. Oh, now she's open. Great. A door I have to beat up to open. <laughs> Get in and start her up. Um, well, uh, it's probably the battery. I know she has enough gas in her, and I had her mechanic check her out yesterday. Try it again. Uh, it sounds a little rough to me. Well, how much is this minivan anyway? Oh, it's a great bargain today and tomorrow only at fifteen thousand seven hundred seventy-five dollars. Plus, you get the extended warranty covering defects, wear and tear beyond the normal maintenance on the vehicle for an extra five hundred dollars. Okay, how much did you understand? Seventy percent of the conversation, they were okay. talking about buying a second-hand car, right? Okay. What is the mileage in this car in particular? Seventy-five thousand miles. Six thousand. Yes, seventy-five thousand. How old is the car supposedly? Three years old. 
three years old. What's the problem with the car, according to the sound that we heard? The battery. The battery doesn't have gas. Okay, and how much is the car? 500 and no matter How much is the car? <laughs> Let, let, let me play the last one. Listen carefully. Uh, it sounds a little rough to me. Well, How much is this minivan anyway? It's a, model. Oh, it's a great bargain today and tomorrow only at $15,775. How much did he say? 15000 15000 mm -hmm. So fifteen thousand seven hundred and seventy-five dollars. Yes. Okay. Do you have any questions about the listening? No. Okay. So let's go to. Um, do you guys remember comparatives and superlatives? Okay, so let me, let me open the page. Wait a second. Okay, can you see the document? Yes. Okay, so oh my god. I'm thinking oh my god. Make comparative and superlative of the following make sentence too. Okay. So how many words are there on the list? Ten. Ten. How do you pronounce the first one? Expensive. 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 Number two? Five. Four. Far. Number three? Beautiful. 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 Number four? Nice. 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 Number five? Pretty. 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 Number six? Close. 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 Number seven? Attractive. Attractive. Number eight? Slow. Slow. Number nine? Slow. Rich. 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 And Rich. number ten? Stingy. 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 Okay. Uh, are we okay with the vocabulary? What is the stingy? Stingy. Okay. Um, stingy is a person that doesn't like to spend money. Tacaño. Hmm? Tacaño, exactly. Yes. Tacaño. Oh, right, right. Um, so that's stingy. Do you recognize the others? Do you recognize the rest? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so look here. You're supposed to give the first thing. What is the comparative of expensive? Cheaper. No, the comparative of expensive. More expensive. Okay, more expensive. What is the superlative of expensive? Most expensive. The most. The most, Expensive. exactly. So that's going to be your conversation for now. You guys will mention the comparative, you will mention the superlative, and then you will have to make sentences. Um, any questions about the instructions? No, teacher. Okay, so let me... Let me, let me... Room four. Uh, room four. Exchange with him. Exchange with him. Exchange with him. So we have three people. Uh -huh. hmm. 
Someone is coughing. So move to room eight. Move to room eight. And I will move room four, room eight. All right, here we go, people. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. I'm okay today, and you? Okay, good. Did you receive the image in the WhatsApp chat? The last? Uh, in the WhatsApp chat. The last? Uh, yeah, the last one. Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so can you read the instructions? The yeah, the exercise. Yes, can you read the instructions? Make comparative and superlative of the following. Okay. Make sentence two. Okay, so what is the first adjective that we have there? Expensive. expensive. Okay, what is the comparative of expensive? Uh, more expensive. And the superlative? The most expensive. Good. Can you give me a sentence with expensive? A BMW is the most expensive uh, cars in El Salvador. Very good. That's exactly what you and Marcela will do. Good. Okay. All right. Thank you, teacher. Good. Is the lowest. Lowest. Mm -hmm. Lowest. And rich is the comparative is richer and superlative. The richest. The richest. The richest. Uh huh. The most The comparative is senior. Senior. Uh -huh. And the superlative is. Your English. Okay. Sound sound great if if we. Uh, explain one of them and after that uh, <coughs> we can make a stinger a stingy I, I hear two vowels exactly but remember the rule uh, the exception when it finishes um, with letter Y like pretty, ugly, fancy stingy Mm -hmm. A stingier and a stingiest. The stingiest. Okay. Stingiest. Yes. Stingy. So you say I am stingier than my brother, mm -hmm. but my cousin is the stingiest. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's true, teacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So it it applies in your life, Stephanie. <laughs> All right. Are, are you from a watch upon, Stephanie? No, teacher. No. <laughs> you know, they, people say that people from a watch upon are are stingy. <laughs> okay. All right. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. How are you? Bye. 
We are discussing about the second one. Uh, mm -hmm. what, is, what is the second one? Far. Far. Okay, so what is the comparative of far? Farther. Uh-huh. And the superlative right. form? Is, I far. found that is far, faster or something. Okay, far, farther, the farthest. Ah, the farthest. Yes, far, farther, uh -huh. the farthest. Yes. Farthest is the top. Exactly. So you can say... Uh, okay, if farther... So farther is can, a comparative. Right. Between two. So you say, okay. uh, um, from Lourdes, San Vicente is farther than Soyapango. San Vicente mm -hmm. is farther than Soyapango. But Usulutan is the farthest. So mm -hmm. imagine that I have three destinies. Soyapango, San Vicente, Usulutan. San Vicente mm -hmm. is farther than Soyapango, but Usulutan is the farthest. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yes. Closer. Closer. And closest. Yeah. Um, attractive? Yeah, thank you. The most attractive. The most attractive. More attractive, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is the number eight? The slow close with ER, right? Closer, yes. Closer. What is the meaning mm. of close? That is. Mm. So, you, so, so you say Santa Tecla is close to Lourdes. Cerca. Yes. Cerca. It's a synonym okay. of near. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm close to you. Okay. Close In to my, you, right. My, cl my word is closer, closer to my house. Exactly. Oh, Good. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All yes. right. Other person. Me. Why? Yes. Why? <laughs> she always I always is have uh, um, a lot of energy. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. We have to <laughs> so do let's do the sentences. <laughs> okay. Let's oh my see. God! I'm the only. I I only. I I'm the only serious person in this session. No, um, you're not. Someone. I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> I told Samuel that he needs a psychologist because it's not normal. Okay, what do you think, Samuel? I think that she is proba probably right. <laughs> <laughs> I will send you the link for the first session. So more. Okay. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks.
The number five is pretty. Or pretty. Pretty. Pretty, comparative. My, my shirt. My shirt. My shirt. Closer. Closer. It's closer. My church closer. is closer. Closer. Than the cathedral. Than cathedral. Good. Cathedral. My church cathedral. is closer than cathedral. Good. Than cathedral. Yes. Attractive. Attractive. What my is the husband? Uh huh. Oh my it's more God. attractive. It's more attractive than than you. Okay, it's more attractive than you. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> And, and what is the superlative of attractive? The most attractive. The most attractive. The most attractive. Okay. So Araceli can say, my husband is the most attractive man in the world. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And Magdalena, she can say the same too. No. No, para nada. No? Um, the, the song... This is eh, eh, el hombre es como el oso, entre más feo, más hermoso. Ok. <laughs> In English, how do you say this? <laughs> ok, so, you know, that's, you know, everybody has different opinions, like, like what Magdalena says, you know, if the man looks like a, like a bear, he's more handsome. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think my, my husband is more attractive than you. Okay. Okay. All right. Did you finish okay. with all the document? Okay. And, uh, not, not, yet. Yet. not yet. Okay. Go ahead. Why the, not, why not the number, number eight is slow. 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 How many syllables do you hear in slow? One syllable. Exactly. One, one so syllable. what is the comparative? The slower. Slower. And the superlative? Um, the slowest. Slowest. The slowest. The slowest. Okay. So what is slower? A man or a horse? Uh, what is slower? A man or a horse? Horse. The man is slow. The exactly. Man, the the man, man is, slower. is slower than a horse. Yes. Oh, okay. 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 The man is slower than a horse. Than horse. <laughs> so, okay. So you say man is slower than, than a horse. Than a horse. Then a horse. Okay. <laughs> All right, nice. good. Nice reach. All right, so let's let's close the rooms. Reach. Reach. I buy All right, welcome back. So let's check the list. Um, what is the comparative and superlative of expensive? More. <coughs> oh, sorry, more expensive. More expensive and more expensive. expensive. Very good. You. Okay, can you give me a sentence using expensive? Toyota brand, Toyota brand car is, 
is more expensive than Kia, but the Ferrari is the most expensive. Very good. That's a very nice example. Toyotas are more expensive than Kias, but Ferrari is the most expensive. Very good. What is the comparative and superlative of far? Farther and farthest. What about beautiful? More beautiful and more beautiful. More beautiful and the most beautiful. What about nice? Nice, nicer, nicest. Nicer, the nicest. Very good. What about number five? Pretty. Pretty, the prettiest. Yes, prettier, the prettiest. Uh -huh. Number eight, close. Closer, closest. Uh -huh. Closer, closest. Okay, the closest. Wait. Right there. What about number seven? Attractive. More attractive. More attractive. And, attractive. and the most attractive. The most. Okay. So what about number eight? Slow. Slower. 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 The slowest. Remember, every time you're using the superlative form, you must include the article the or the it depends uh what the next uh sound is so slow slower the slowest attractive more attractive the most attractive what about number nine rich richer 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 richer, richer. 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 okay who is richer. the richest person in the world jeff bezos Okay, yes, Mr. Bezos. And the last one, stingy. Stinger. 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 Yes. And the superlative form, the stingiest. Yes. All right. Any questions or comments about this exercise? No? Is this clear? So remember um, that you guys need to do the work in the platform. And um, if for whatever reason you guys have a low score, you can do it again and improve the grade. So remember that this coming Monday is going to be our last session. So um, make sure that you work in the platform over the weekend. Any questions about this exercise? No, thank you. Okay. Now we go with the last activity. Do you guys remember past models? Past models. Do you remember past models? Should be, should, yes. should have, could have, could exactly. have. Exactly. Should have, could have, and should have. must have, would have. Now, I'm pronouncing the contracted version, but should have, could have, <laughs> may have, and all that. So remember, you always got to use contractions when you're speaking. Um, so when you're speaking with a native speaker and this native speaker doesn't speak Spanish, he or she is going to use contractions. So you must be able to understand what they are saying. Okay, so let me, um, how do you say hubieras ido? You should have been. Hubieras ido. You should have gone. Good. You should have gone. What is the contraction of should have? Should have. Should have. Should have. Uh -huh. should have. How do you say, ella no pudo haber ido? Hey, your sister was at the party. She was dancing. She says, ella no pudo haber ido. She's not here in the country. She's no pudo. It shouldn't. Uh-uh. 
She couldn't. She couldn't. She couldn't. She couldn't. She couldn't have done it. Very good. She. No, not there. She couldn't. Gone. Have gone. Now remember that could is what we use to talk about possibilities. So when you say, ella no pudo haber ido, so that's like impossible. So you, you say that. So you said, I drove for seven hours. I drove for seven hours. Seven hours is a good distance. So you tell the person, debió haber sido lejos. You're very sure because the person was driving for seven hours. So debió haber sido lejos. How do you it say must that one? Be uh -huh. have. Must be have. There should have. No. Debió, there should. debió haber sido lejos. There should have. Uh -uh. It, it, must, it, it must. It must. Uh huh. It must be far. It must have, have been, been far. It must have been far. Don't be far. It must have been far. It must. So remember, should is for recommending. Could is for possibilities, and must is what we use when you are 100% sure about your opinion. So if I tell you, look, I was driving for seven hours from this city to another, you said, he must have been far. Debió haber sido lejos. Now, do you consider seven hours to be long distance driving? Yes. Yeah. I always drive seven hours or more. Okay. So when, when you drive seven hours, that means like you go from San Salvador, you can go to Nicaragua. That's a long distance. So you said, it must have been far. Debió haber sido lejos. Okay, uh, any questions about this? Because your next exercise is related with this topic. Questions or comments? Nope. No? All right, so let me, let me, room three, room three, room nine, Room nine, and we're going to move this person. <clears throat> Room five, and all right. Uh, Three, three, two. Okay, so let's let's work on this. Let me show you the document. Okay, can you see the document? Yes. All right, so feel free to take a screenshot from here. Or if you prefer, you can use the one that I'm sending you to the WhatsApp chat. We have only Please. 25 minutes left. Let me see this here. Assign two, three. So on top of the page, I included the structure you're supposed to use. Hmm. 
Yes, you must. Uh -huh. you, you must. If you, you must no, have it must. Se, sería, pero porque estás hablando de un de un acontecimiento, sería it. Which one are you doing? It must it. have. Number two. It. You almost two? crashed your car. Yes. So it's a it's yes. an event. So you should include uh -huh. it. Yes, it must have been scary. It must, it must have been scary. Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. Teacher, yes, en, sir. En, en, en gramática cuando, o sea, en, en español sí se, sí se puede hablar del sujeto y se entiende, pero en, 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 en inglés siempre debe ponerse. Exacto. ¿Cómo se llama ese tipo de pronombre? A personal pronoun. That's a personal pronoun. When you say, it must have been scary. It must have been scary. So it's a personal pronoun. Personal pronoun. Yeah. yeah. It, it's, it belongs to the third person singular. He, she, okay. it. Other questions? Thanks. All right, good. In the number three, my sister got wet while playing. How do you say, ella no hubiera salido? So she went to play basketball under the rain, and now she's sick. So you tell her, or you tell someone else, ella no hubiera salido. You shouldn't. She shouldn't what? She shouldn't what? She shouldn't. What is this? Uh huh. She shouldn't have. What is what is the past participle of go, Marcela, or Louis? The past participle. Go, went, what is the past participle? Gun. G-O-N-E. So she how do you say? Uh-huh. She shouldn't have gone. She shouldn't have gone. No hubiera ido. Exactly. Okay. Very good. Uh, but. Mm hmm Which one are you doing, ladies? In number three. Okay, my sister got wet while playing basketball. How do you say, ella no hubiera ido? She... She... Most, most, my sister, most, my sister. She must, she must. She must what? She must 
not have gone. Very good. She must not have gone. Very good. Okay. She must not have gone. Gone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can be also could or no. Podrías no vea. Yo deberías. No. Mm, you shouldn't. Shouldn't in negative. Eh, crash. How? I don't know. Okay, which, which number are you doing? Two, teacher. Number two. So you yes. almost crashed your car. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Casi you chocas tu car. Mm -hmm. yeah, casi chocas. Your car. Uh -huh. mm. You shouldn't have. Okay, you shouldn't have. Almost crashed your car. Mm, not exactly. No. How do you say, no deberías haber ido tan rápido? You couldn't have go... Uh, no deberías. You couldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't, you shouldn't what? You shouldn't see it gone You shouldn't so fast. have gone... Uh, have. You shouldn't go so fast. No deberías haber ido tan rápido. You shouldn't have you should. gone so fast. So fast. In the first one, uh, we put, you couldn't have spent your money in the bar. It's good. So if you think that the person okay. is not telling you the truth, he says, look, tell me the truth. You couldn't have spent all the money at the, ba at the bar. It's good. Okay, teacher. All right. Thank you. Okay. For recommendation, maybe we can put, um, I should have lost my keys again. Okay, I spent all my money at the bar. I must have spent all my money at the bar. Debí haberme gastado todo el dinero en la... You could have crashed your car. Okay. Number three, my sister got wet while playing basketball. My sister must has gotten wet. Must have gotten wet. Got is the past tense, but in this case, we're using past participle. Get, got, what is the past participle? Gotten. 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 How do you spell gotten? G-O-T-T-E-N. Uh, E-N, exactly. Very good. G-O-T-T-E-N. Yes. Creo que, uh, uh -huh. creo que no tiene. The present possible of thing carefully is thinking carefully. The past possible of thinking carefully oh, is south, yes. south, carefully. Okay, which number are you doing? The number uh, The number four. four. Okay, I lost my keys again. What do you recommend to this person? Or what is your opinion about that particular scenario? Um, I think... How do you she... say hubieras hecho copias? Hubieras hecho copias. You could have made copies. You could have made, made, made. You could have, you could have made copies. You could have made copies. Yes. You could have made copies. Okay. Exactly. You could have made copies. You could have made, made. Like made, made in, chi in China. Exactly. Made in China. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Because jugaba basketball. Uh huh. So how do you say ella hubiera ido preparada? Ah, okay. The teacher siempre lo ve desde otro lado. Sí, desde otro punto de vista. Oh no! I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> what, what was your sentence? <laughs> Okay. Ninguna. <laughs> no, uh, in 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 the in this case is uh, we using most. Okay. Uh, for example, 
uh, it must have um, been raining, raining so uh -huh. much. Okay. Or very hard. Or how do you say using must debió haber sido divertido? It, it must, must have been, must have been, been fun. 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 It must have been fun. You and I, oh, okay. we played under the rain when we were younger, you know, and it was fun. Yes. Yeah. So it must have, have been fun. It must have been fun. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. We are complicated. The life of the life. <laughs> <laughs> we have to, to practice this. Yes. Ajá, cabal. Entonces, para que tenga lógica, podría ser... Eh, maybe, must not. Which one are you doing? Uh, number... Uh, nine. Number nine. I went to the yes. stadium yesterday. Yes. So, imagine okay. that you... Okay. Uh -huh, yes, go ahead. Could be I must not have uh, gone to the stadium. Okay. No debía haber ido. Uh -huh. It's better. Puede. Yes, you can. But it's better if you said I shouldn't uh. have gone. I shouldn't have uh. gone. Uh. Because you're giving yourself if, advice. No hubiera ido. If I... If we can say, I well, must have fun. I must, oh, how do I you mustn't say? have gone, yes. Must when this advice. So imagine you go to the stadium Mostly. and something bad happens to you. Maybe yes. you lose your wallet, something bad. So you say to yourself, I mustn't have gone. I should. No debía haber ido. Mustn't have gone. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that that's depends of the context, I it, think. It, it depends on how serious your opinion is. Okay. So imagine you go uh, to the stadium and the team that you like loses. So it says, I shouldn't have gone. No hubiera ido. Mm, now, okay. if it's something more mm -hmm. serious, then you say, uh, 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 his sentence, I mustn't have gone because it's more serious. Okay. Okay. Yep. So the, he was arrested for drunk driving. He should only. How do you say, el pudo haber matado a alguien? You know, you're driving your car and you're drinking. El pudo haber matado a alguien. She, he will, she will have. Pudo. What, pudo. Is, what is the model that you say for possibility? Oh, pull, pull. Good. One more time. He could have. Uh, 
killed, killed somebody. Killed somebody. Yes, he could have killed somebody. He could have killed. So they say, you know what, uh, your neighbor, you know, he was arrested for drunk driving. So he said, that's good. He could have killed somebody. Okay. Right? Okay. All right. Teacher. Yes. We finished, but I don't know if are correct. <laughs> okay. Um, what is your opinion? Let me see this. Um, okay. I lost my keys again. Number four. What, uh, what? Uh, Perdí mis llaves otra vez. Uh, for you... me, I don't know if I recom a recommendation. Maybe you should have um, good attention. Okay. You should have uh, paid attention. Pay attention. Very good. Very good. Magdalena, what do you have for number five? He fell down the stairs. Se cayó de las gradas. How do you say, él debió haber sido más precavido? He must have. He must have. He must have. A ver si. So what is what is the past participle of verb to be? Being. Being, exactly. So how do you say no. el debió haber sido más precavido? Or más cuidadoso. He must the must the must have, have been more. He must have been more careful. Carefully. Very good. Carefully. Very good. So, you mm -hmm. know, he fell down the stairs. Man, he must have okay. been more careful. Debió haber sido más precavido. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. All right. Teacher, the, yes. the, the sentences, for example, these sentences, uh, these sentences, uh, I don't know how to say in English. Uh, Tell me. You can you can use a recommendation, uh, a possibility. Yes, uh, it, your opinion. Obligation or it, it uh -huh. So your opinion, okay, he fell down the stairs. Se cayó de las, de las uh -huh. gradas. So your opinion is, debió haber sido más cuidadoso. He should have been more careful. Uh -huh. Or you say to yourself, hubiéramos puesto eh, un balcón. We could have put, uh -huh. your opinion mm -hmm. can be could have, should have, must have, would have. So it, it, it can ah, come okay. in different forms. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, so there isn't yes. okay. one specific model that you need to use. So you just say he could have, she, he should have, we must have, and so on. But the most common model is sure, sure. Uh, it, like I said, it, and depends, must. it, it mm -hmm. depends on the on the circumstance and it depends on which opinion you want to share. So ah, you said okay, uh, okay. he could have been more serious. He shouldn't have been driving. Uh, you could have mm -hmm. called me. So your opinion can come in different forms. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay, teacher. All right, so let's go back to the main session. All right, so before we go, uh, I lost my keys again, number four. What is your opinion uh, or your reaction for that particular situation? I lost my keys again. Anybody? I shouldn't have lost my keys again. Okay, I shouldn't have lost my keys again. No las hubiera perdido. How do you say hubieras hecho copias? 
You shouldn't have made. You should have. Copies. You should have made copies. You should have made copies. What about should number I, five? He fell I, down the stairs. Yeah. Se cayó de las gradas. What is your opinion? He, he must have hurt He must have himself. been more careful. Okay, he he must have hurt himself. He should have been more carefully. What is the model that you use for hypothetical situations? Would. Would. How do you say, yo habría puesto un pasamanos? I would have mm, put, put uh, a handrail. Uh, handrail. 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 Very good. Handrail. Number six, they broke the neighbor's window. And now he's very angry. What is your opinion? They must have been more responsible. They must have been more responsible. What about number seven? He was arrested for drunk driving. He will have called an Uber. He would have? Call, called an Uber. Okay, he would have taxi. called a, an Uber. Okay, he would have called a, a taxi. Good. I forgot to send my homework. How do you say lo hubiera escrito? I should escrito? have uh -huh. I should have made a reminder. I should have made a reminder. How do you say lo hubieras escrito? Lord. You should have written. You should have written. You should have written. You should have written. I went to the stadium yesterday. How do you say me hubieras llevado? You will uh -uh. Me uh, you should, you you should, uh, what is it? Me. You should have taken with me. You should have taken me. You should have taken me. You should have taken me. me. Take to taken. Take to taken. And number take ten, me. she was late to work. She was. Uh -huh. She must get up earlier. She must have gotten up earlier. Remember that you always need to use the past participle of the verb. So we have get, got, gotten. Get, got, gotten. Yes. All right. Any questions or comments? Questions, questions? No. No, no, maybe. No, okay, Josué Edgardo. Josué Edgardo? Josué Edgardo, are you here? Josué Edgardo, Josué Edgardo. Let me see, is he here? Josué, Josué. Josué Edgardo, can you hear me? Teacher, como dijo que sería me hubiera llevado? Yes, uh, but... You should have taken me. You should? Have taken me. You should me. have taken me. You should have taken me. Josué Edgardo, you need to stay a few more minutes when everybody leaves. So, yes. um, if you don't have any questions, I'll be seeing you Monday. Monday is our last session. Thank you very much. You guys have a okay. nice day. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good weekend. You too.